Hey everybody, I just saw Dragon Ball Evolution and uh, here's my ticket stub so you can see that I went and I paid nine bucks for this thing. Um, now, I know I've said, I said in the past um, that um, I would try to go into this movie pretending like I had never seen an episode of Dragon Ball or an episode of Dragon Ball Z for that matter in my entire life. I tried to do that, <laughs> but, um, you know, as soon as, you know, we hear the first speech, as we see the first images of this movie, they start bastardizing the story of Dragon Ball, so, you know, I found it pretty much impossible to make good on that promise. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just, let's just get right to it. This movie sucks, alright? Not just, you know, sucks like... You know, it's one of those movies that just hap comes out all the time. You went to it, you thought, man, eh, maybe it was, might be good, and it turned out it was not good. No, this is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, the acting is terrible. I mean, if you think that the guy who plays Anakin in episode 2 and 3 is bad... You haven't seen anything until you've seen Justin Chatwin as Goku in this movie. This is this is this is Justin Chatwin as Goku in this movie. Oh, uh, we need to go collect the Dragon Balls and before the eclipse, so we can save the world. Seriously, that's how he talks. Like he spaces out every fucking word. Like, and he doesn't put any emotion ever in his voice. That's how he. That's how he says every line. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Um, the rest of the cast doesn't fare much better. Um, I would say the only one that does a pretty decent job, actually, would be Chow Yun-Fat as Roshi. Um, more on that later. Um, but, yeah. Acting is, overall, some of the worst I've ever seen in a movie. Uh, the CGI... <laughs> man. was... Awful. 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 I mean, it didn't look remotely real. Uh, I mean, this the CGI looked 10 years old. Now, there's liberal use of green screen in this movie, and um, every time they used it, it was horrendously obvious. I mean, usually when there's a green screening effect, you can usually tell anyway, but I mean... This was just, I mean, it was so cheaply done. I mean, you could really tell. It, it, it was awful. Awful. Uh, I mean, yeah. And the fighting, the fighting, which I thought maybe would be the only thing good about this movie, sucked. Um, when there is fighting... And there's only, like, three or four fights. I mean, that involve Goku in it, anyway. Um, and they only last for about a minute, two minutes, maybe. They, they were awful. Very poorly shot. Uh, very poorly choreographed. Uh, I, I... Yeah. No. 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 And, you know, there was also liberal use of slow motion. And why, when I say liberal, I mean unnecessary. I mean, obviously they're catering to a younger audience here. And, but... Why? <sighs> Okay, the final fight with Goku and Piccolo lasts maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. And all they do is fire energy blasts at each other. That's all they do. That's it. And of course, Piccolo is defeated. I mean, it was just, yeah, no. Okay, moving on. I'm not going to go into all the stuff that they did wrong. 
like as far as taking things and changing them around because they've all been said before and I really can't comment further. Uh, Grappler Jamo said in his review that um, this movie makes Super Mario Brothers look like an Oscar winner. Now, I'd have to disagree. I think this is better than that, believe it or not. Because they did do some things that were true to the show. Um, one thing, as I mentioned, was Roshi. Like, Chang and Fat does a pretty good job portraying him, and they didn't change his character at all, really. He's pretty much the same Roshi as you think of in the show. I mean, of course, in the movie, he's not exactly an old guy, but I mean, personality wise, he's exactly the same. Um, and, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in this, but, uh, when they first meet Yamcha in the show, I'm pretty sure, like, he sets some sort of trap for anyone that's crossing his, like, territory or whatever. And, you know, and in the movie this happens also, like, they fall into, like, a hole or something. Like, a pit that he dug. And I'm pretty sure that something similar happens in the show, too. If someone, if I'm wrong, then whatever, but... So, there's that. And, um... Well... Yeah, that's about it. I mean, unless you want to go really minor things, like, like, um, you know, he actually, Goku actually has the four star ball. <laughs> they could have changed that to, like, one star ball or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, t so, I mean, I think, oh, also, like, Roshi doesn't actually train Goku to fight, really. Just like he did in the show, like, he just, like, in the show, remember, he makes him, like, put on the, uh, turtle shell and, like, do a bunch of stuff with that on, and in the movie, they do something similar to that. Um, yeah, but, uh, I would say it's better than Mario Brothers, but still one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Do I regret seeing it? No. Do I regret paying for it? Now that is the real question. I'd have to get back to you on that, but uh, that's my review. Ugh.